what up <clears throat> so this is just kind of a fun video for me to kind of show off my packet tracer network that I've been working on for a while now so I started using this I don't know about two and a half years ago just to kind of study for my CSINT up to my CCNA and like I have said in some of my playlist and channel descriptions I don't like just using single lab files to just kind of practice one concept at a time I like to practice that concept and then add to it and see how it all interacts so what I ended up doing was becoming pretty much addicted to making a huge ass packet tracer network so I've added to this over the course of I don't know two and a half years on and off and it's just expanded into this ridiculous network within packet tracer now I've hit a few packet tracer limits at least I think they're packet tracer limits um, I actually had this file it was a lot bigger than what it is now all of this white space over here used to be filled up and I had clusters everywhere so I had the file actually up to around three and a half megs at some point but then I started getting into crashes upon saving crashes just all over the place with this retarded huge network in one file so what I decided to do was split it up into many files actually right here you can see I've got 15 separate packet tracer files running and this is just a cut down on saving corruption because packet tracer flips out with massive networks in a single file and that's how I decided to expand beyond that so I'm just gonna kinda walk through what I did here this is actually my first network that I started on in this uh, baby blue box up here now I can't circle stuff because my circling program there's way too many windows for me to do it so I'm just gonna have to scroll through everything but I started up here and you can see I just made a simple kind of little network put a few servers had an email server web server DHCP DNS and I've got some VoIPs and all kinds of stuff slowly added all this stuff later everything you see here is actually functioning besides these the TACAC server FTP and management server that I had I had some problems with those I shut them off but all the phones you see on here can call between one another I've got I mean full connectivity up through all of this and I like to take them all names. Down here is my like data center. This is for all websites. I've got multiple web servers so I can type in a web address on any of these PCs and pull one of these websites and I've got some empty servers down here and whatnot. Here it was where I decided to practice VPNs. I've got, I call it my intelligence area like CIA and shit. Yeah. So they're running a VPN straight from here over to here. They can't access anything else on this entire network and nobody else can access them their phones call between only their own phones and they have their own like web server for shit uh, FTP server which I call the database so they're on their own private network just these two locations the rest of these are pretty much all connected up for the most part um, I've got full remote management through all of this so I've got a single PC on another network I can use to remote into this and I've got DNS set up so I can just type in the name of each device and fuck with it from there but as you can see this network is connected out to many other files one two three here I'll just bring up one of those so this one here at the bottom in the orange which I labeled ISP that actually connects to this network here which is running a DSL and a cable cloud and these are like some houses I just configured that shit up I've got a dial-up connection here practice with setting that up also got another VPN router which I actually haven't connected to anything yet and yeah the rest is just kinda of simulating houses I've got TVs they might pull pictures oh yeah right here so I've got TV pulling pictures from the cable cloud up there and the other networks I had would be, let me find the other one. We'll just go back to this and I'll show you where they're connected off. This is like my backbone router for this whole network I had. So I'll go over to this one. This one I kind of called like the military network. Yeah, here. 
so it's got its own server farm area everybody's got a phone it's all good these are all different like offices or different military think like squadrons and shit so each one of these is a different squadron they've got their own vlan and everything their own sub interface on this router and they're all connected back to the rest of the world down here was another one that I planned to tie into the Intel just to have another VPN. So this router would VPN back to those other two sites that I showed you before. But I haven't finished that yet. Now this other one, this is this network's way out to basically the what I call my big internet in Packet Tracer. Uh, it's this core network here, which is all just like routers to transport between all my different files so whenever I make a new file I'll configure up a router here and throw in my new file cloud down here to connect it with the rest of my files so what these routers do uh, that last network I showed you was running all pure OSPF as the routing protocol and what it does it comes here this router will run whatever routing protocol is connected to a different file and it's all got separate uh, routing instances so just for example this one uh, the multi-protocol cloud down here is running egrip the other network I said was running OSPF so it's got a process for both of those and it's also got a process for my backbone routing which is egrip3 so what it does is it takes it distributes a default route into both of these clouds so that they have a way out here and then it redistributes all those routes into the backbone routing so all of these routers have all my network routes and if we go into one of these and we do a show IP route then we'll see all of the routing entries for all of my networks here and it's pretty ridiculous I could summarize this down practice summarization I know but for some reason I just like having a ridiculous routing table so all of these other networks connected off of it are just some of these other ones that I use to practice some other topics. Uh, for instance, we'll go with um, this one. This one was kind of a wireless thing, practicing with wireless access points and whatnot. Pretty much all of these files have the same basic stuff, FTP servers, web servers, DNS servers, even though I actually made them stop using that. All of these files connect back to my main DNS server, which is in this original file uh, up here in my first network I made. The other ones, here is supposed to be my IPv6 network. Uh, I never really got far with that because I couldn't figure out how to translate it over using, what is it, protocol translation. That blew my mind, and I kind of gave up on this one. Uh, this here is my latest one, actually. This is supposed to be a stupid big business internet or network my bad um, every five PCs here is on its own VLAN these two routers are supposed to be my distribution uh, switches my bad they're layer 3 switches they've got routing on them but they've got interface VLANs for every single VLAN down here and they're using HSRP and they're being uh, they got some spanning tree balance between them so uh, all the odd VLANs go to say the right side, all the evens go to the left, and the HSRP uh, standby groups are also uh, divvied out that way. And they've got all the redundant connections up to here, where I've got the DHCP server for this whole network, and also this is supposed to be a backup DHCP and a call manager up here somewhere. These are going to have some access lists. I haven't actually configured those yet, but I will. And this is redundant connections to the internet, which is a core file. Here's another one I've got connected up. This is actually off my second core file. I'll go ahead and show you that. So this file in the middle has another core cloud, and this is my secondary core. It's pretty much a mirror of that one, just so I can have more files. And this one is off of that, which what I did here was I was trying to get every routing protocol to run and pretty much every topic that I could in one single file. So like down here in purple, I've got HSRP running on routers, which are running OSPF, Area 2, connected to Area 2, OSPF. 
and these other ones OSPF area one I've got right here in area three so this was supposed to be my practice with uh, some virtual links and like what, what I can never pronounce it discontiguous like OSPF areas because this one's not connected to area zero so it's not supposed to work but it's supposed to be my practice with that supposed to have tunnels between like this guy up here and some guy down here yeah this other tunnel side uh, this side over here is all running egrip besides this blue circle which is running rip this is supposed to be getting redistributed in between all of them these center three routers are running bgp uh, here's my frame relay practice thing i think i was using point to point here and down here is supposed to be my switch practice network with spanning tree and all that. This is similar to kind of what we set up in our other network that we were going through in the configuration playlist. And some other routers for VPNs. So this is kind of like my all-in-one file that I never fucking finished because it's just not fun when I'm purely studying. Mm. There's some other ones. This is one I was doing in a class. So this connected up to a few other people that I was in class with and I was running a DNS server, had a syslog, NTP, web server for everybody. We, this is how we were sending emails back and forth in class through Packet Tracer. That's pretty much the main reason we even set it up. This is just where I threw a bunch of PCs in. I think I... No, I didn't touch on this one yet. This was my first attempt at HSRP and the kind of hierarchical switch design here, so each of the boxes is like a separate uh, department in this network and they're all on separate VLANs connecting to the access switches and then distribution core and HSRP here at the routers eventually I moved my HSRP practice down to the distribution and access layer but this is the first time I was doing it so I just did it on the routers and up here is like our DMZ or whatever with our web servers and email to connect out to the internet <clears throat> and here's another one you probably are getting bored of seeing these because they all follow the exact same shit like here's a data center here's some more servers PCs here's my cable practice network just to set up the two cable clouds and these are all supposed to be houses and shit but you're probably wondering why I decided to show you this. It's just to kind of give an example of what can be done with Packet Tracer, how big you really can make it. And yeah, also to share a little bit of some performance shit. So I'm pretty much at my file limit. I don't think I'll be expanding this single network anymore. I'm probably gonna have to consolidate some of the stuff that I use the most down to one or two files because with these uh, 15 files, or yeah, separate files that we've got running here connecting to each other, if I bring up tax, Task Manager, you'll see that my CPU is pegged 100% all the time. Each instance of Packet Tracer takes anywhere between like 3 to 10% uh, percent of the CPU, and I've got 15 running, so my processor's having one hell of a time keeping up with all of these. And it makes the performance of Packet Tracer so slow that I really can't pull up any web pages on my hosts or make phone calls within Packet Tracer because it's just there's too much going on here but yep that was just a little preview of what I've been doing what you can do what I'm kind of building towards in the videos maybe something like this probably not near as big but yeah hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and see you later in another actual video with some information Thanks.